Hello there. So let's see how we can configure Ninja strategy to send orders to Zeroda without any manual intervention. So how we can do that? To accomplish this one, you need to have installed Ninja Reader 7, then Algoto and Kite Bridge. All of these you can download from this mentioned link. And I already have installed uh, Ninja Trader 7 and the Algoto. Now I need to install Kite Bridge. So let's go to LiveDeck.com, NT Bridge. Then select Downloads and Kite Bridge. Then click on Download Ninja Trader Bridge. Once it is downloaded, just open it. Install this to the default location where you can see on the destination folder. Click on Install. After installed, you won't see any message, just it is copying a file to your Ninja uh, folder. That's it. So just open Ninja Trader 7. Okay, it's open now. So what we are up to is to configure Ninja strat strategy to send the auto-generated orders in the Ninja directly to Zeroda through the Algot application, which we have discussed in other previous videos. So to do that, you must be having a strategy which we created from the previous video by the name of SMA 20 crores over SMA 50. If you have not watched that video, just go to livetech.com and watch how to create a ninja strategy, which is describing how to create a ninja strategy. Basically, this one is created by the ninja strategy creator wizard and I'm editing this by the C sharp code window. So you need to go to the tools menu and select edit ninja script. That's how we reached here tools, edit ninja script and strategy and select it the one I want to edit. Now, so these are the codes generated by ninja strategy wizard. What we need to do, we need to insert a couple of codes in between these codes to send the generated orders exactly the time when it happens in ninja trader we need to send those to zero them through algoto so what we need to do we need to have a reference to our recently installed kite bridge so right click on any white space area select the references and click on add it should take you automatically to the custom folder select the kite bridge dll if it is not visible here you need to install kite bridge by downloading from livetech.com or if it is not the location where you are viewing at the moment you need to navigate to the location users and your username documents then ninja trader 7 bin custom there you will find this dll click open and you will see that it is added here click ok now we need to copy and paste the codes in between these codes to fulfill our requirement. So I'm just reducing this window size. And I have uh, the codes here already described. The codes are, these are the lines you need to copy in between couple of area. I'll show you how it is. Copy this one to in any strategy you are using, you can follow this method because all of these are same. Using kite bridge, the first code is done. Then the second one is all together. You can copy these three lines. And here, expand the variables. And below this green line, use a defined variable because we are defining our variables. Just make it quite tidy. Okay. That's done. Then this fourth line should go to below this uh, brackets. This is a, a method which is initialization method. We need to copy, we need to paste our copied line, which is this one, under this one. This is another method actually on startup. All of these codes are lines are really, really important. So that's done. Now these two lines are, if you have noticed, bo uh, both of these are same. Just the difference is one is buy order and the other one is sell order. That is the difference. The rest of the things are same. This is both. Uh, this is the same function. 
So I will copy the first one which is the by order of B. And here on the strategy, we need to find wherever we have the by order or long limit order. There are say, different types of uh, orders you can place by Ninja Trader. We had selected during the creation of this strategy that enter long limit. There is another order which is enter long only without this limit price. So you need to find wherever you are entering or wherever you are placing the buy order by the Ninja Trader. So this is just a simple strategy. So we have only one place below this line. I am just pacing as a parallel one. I pasted our code which is for a buy order. Which is for a buy order, yes. Now we need to do a simple step as well that just copy this and paste here just give it equal to that's it and the second one is for the sell order copy this you can see that we have a exit long limit order which is a sell order for uh, ninja trader we will paste our line here and the same way I will copy this my exit order equal to here I need to change one more thing that profit book price we don't know what is the profit book price is yet but we know from here that whenever we place a order we are taking that current market price which is the close price plus the profit value to the variable zero so we, we are having the profit book price here with the variable zero so copy that one and change this profit book price to that one that's it now we have completed copying all the lines let's see if it brings any error message while compiling just click OK you need to click this button to compile it so OK I got the success message which is a sound alert so I have that strategy completed now I compiled it when you comp compile it will save automatically but just for to be safe side I just saved it again so once we have completed the strategy configuration we need to apply that to a chart to a or to a symbol which is traded in zero the in order to pass the order orders generated here so I will open Vedanta symbol click OK this uh, this is a recorded uh, market market recorded data uh, because at the moment I don't have the market open uh, but I have today's data recorded I will just go and connect to market replay connection which will bring me today's data exactly as it is how it was on 29th November I will play for a while and see yes so it is streaming the data I'll just fast forward it to see a couple of bars generated yes it is so I have that data we need to apply the strategy on this one before that I will keep open I'll go to on the other side so we can see a couple of things what is happening in the background now um, just a second okay now I'll apply the strategy which we created SMA 20 cross over SMA 50 I have these user inputs which we created during the creation of uh, strategy that I'm telling profit value I need to add 0.5 with the entry price and SMA fast let's keep it 20 at the moment and 50 as it is SMA slow I will enable the strategy then the quantity I want to trade with 100 so we have enabled here click OK so you need to notice that as soon as you enable a strategy here or apply if that symbol is traded in ninja uh, sorry in Zeroda it should appear here yes with the exchange details like we have Vedanta in uh, NSE and BSE so prior prior to enable this this symbol 
to be traded in Algoto, you need to set a couple of things like, yes, I want to trade this in BSC, not in ASC, uh, and NSE. I want to have uh, the product j just MIS, not cash and carry. And this is by default, day only you can select and click enable. Now, this portion is complete. If you have a couple of stocks, you can enable or disable whatever you need. I will enable at the moment this one now. And I will go to these orders from Ninja, which means whatever the orders generated here will be passed to the, on this screen. And if we have enabled here, from this screen, the orders will be again passed to Zeroda. That, those orders you will see here, the actual orders in the Zeroda. So in between there is a screen which is which will give you the opportunity to view the orders you received from Ninja Trader. So I will play this. At the moment we can see the indicator here. I don't know whether if there is any order placed behind or no, there is no order. So let me just fast forward it. And at the same time, um, let me change the color of indicator. I would say I need SMA 20 blue color and SMA 50 in red color. So I will see both indicator in a proper manner. Now we can see it's just moving away each other. This is our, I think, SMA first. Yes, that is blue is the SMA fast and red is the SMA slow. You can't see any indicator at the moment because on the strategy, we had given minimum bars required 20. So until a 20 bars is generated, you will not see any indicator here because the strategy will look into the matter exactly when a 20 bars is generated. Yes, now you can see, are there 20 bars? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yes, there are 20 bars. Now, our expectation is to, when the SMA 20, which is blue, cross above, SMA 50, Ninja Trader will place orders. We need to see those orders here as well as on the order section. Okay, so this is our SMA 50 and this is SMA 20, fast moving and this is slowly moving. We need to stop this fast forward of uh, market replay whenever we re uh, reach to a crossover section, SMA 20 cross above SMA 50. So let's wait for that. We are just moving 50 times faster than normal market time moving. So we must find a crossover somewhere here. Yeah, market started moving up. So this sh crossover should happen somewhere here. I'll just pause once it happens. Okay. So I just clicked on the play button and this became the normal market uh, like second by second. But still, yeah, the order entry just processed over here, 100 quantity at 228.35 and exactly a 50.5 is added to the entry price and placed a sell order as well. So if you check over here, you will see that yes, on the BSC, we uh, um, Ninja sent the order and I'll go to forward to the BSC, the sell order. Exactly the settings we had done. The status would be, okay. So my status is that error for zero three session expired, must re-login, yeah. Unfortunately, the market is closed and I'm not logged in, but if I was logged in, yes, the order should have been executed. So you can see that 228.35 uh, buy order sent to Zeroda, then a opposite order, which is sell, sent to 228.85. So let's see if that 
0.85 will reach or not if that is reached here which means we must have reached over there as well because this is live data in a live condition let me yeah, it is just moving up and up let us just fast forward it to see if it is reaching there 65 60 55 when there is a order executed here we won't see any uh, order here again because we already have uh, the cell again and the opposite order here because uh, if you go to ninja you will see yes one cell order is just still waiting there in ninja and we will be having this order waiting in zero as, as well so this this is working uh, on kite zero the kite connect api so your risk and other management is done by zero the itself this is just letting you do the algo trading that's it yes so the order executed in ninja and it should be executed in zero as well or in the exchange so that's how it is configured and that's how the order is worked and maybe we will come up with a live market order execution videos but at the moment uh, just uh, let stick on this market replay connection which is exactly the same on 11th november sorry 29th november 2016 uh, the time was 2 14 when this was happening so that's it thank you for watching bye